Hello, how's everybody doing today? So I wanted to make a quick video. I've had a lot of people messaging me about tithes and offerings and and I made a I made a video about tithes and offerings before and I'll I'll try to link it somewhere in the video. But in a nutshell, basically what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to to tithe 10% of your income to your local church. And that's 10% before taxes. So, you know, if you make $100, you should tithe $10. If you make $200, you should tithe $20. And that goes to your local church, the one that you're a member of, or the one that you attend, um, if, if you're not a member, the one you attend all the time. And then offering is something you pay over your tithe. So <clears throat> if you decide you want to pay an extra 5 or 10 or 15 or $20 or whatever, you could do that, and some churches have it so that you could actually denote where that's going to go. Missions, building fun, special you know, interests, and stuff like that. Like right now, a lot of churches are doing Easter services. So like I know um, there's a local church in my area that's doing Easter egg hunts for kids that, you know, I guess can't really afford to do do it. They go to their house and they put Easter eggs down and stuff, or, or they'll all donate food to families in need or whatever. So that's what the offering offering's for. And the way it's supposed to work for your offering is wherever you're being fed, that's what you give your offering to. It's like this. It's like let's say you go to McDonald's and you order your food and you eat all your food. You're not going to go next door to KFC and pay them. You're going to pay where you're being fed. You're being paid at McDonald's. <clears throat> so, for instance, I know a lot of people have a church they're a member of. And they don't really go there anymore, but they're still a member of that. Technically, you're supposed to pay your tithing to that church. And then the offering to whatever church you're getting your, your spiritual food from. So, for instance, if you're watching me and you're getting your spiritual food from me, you're supposed to pay your offering to me. If you're watching a televangelist and you're getting your, your spiritual food from him or her, you're supposed to go ahead and pay that person. If you're a member at one church and some stuff happened and you left and went to another church, you really should become a member of the other church, but you should pay your offering at the other church and you're tithing at your home church. So that's basically how it's supposed to work. So tithing is 10% of your income before taxes. And it actually gets a little more technical than that, but I don't want to um, confuse you too much. But you pay your 10% to your local church, the one you're a member of, and then you pay the offerings to churches that you are getting fed at. And it's okay to, you know, put offering to multiple different churches. Like I know I've got a friend of mine in Alabama. And, um, you know, I send him money every now and then uh, because of his, you know, his ministry. Or like if you want to help out like Samaritan's Purse or or um, Salvation Army or Matthew 25 Ministries or something like that, that would be a good place to pay, you know, pay some offering to. And usually what me and my family does is you know, like every Easter and Christmas, we'll go ahead and donate to some type of a charity um, to help them out. But um, your tithing goes to your local church, the one you're a member of. And ideally, that's supposed to be the church that you're also getting fed at. I hope that's the church you're getting fed at. But, uh, for instance, with in 2020, we had the, um, the virus. And a lot of people couldn't go to church because obviously they were stuck at home. So they did a lot of uh, of uh, YouTube videos and stuff like that. Now, my local church did YouTube videos, so that was great. But some churches didn't do that. So during that time, you should send a check into your local church for your tithing and then send a, a church or, or go online and use your credit card or whatever to the church that you're getting fed at online. So... That's just that's just really kind of like the basics of what it is. Like I said, I'm going to try to put a link somewhere in this video so that way you can see uh, my other video of tithes and offerings and what's the difference. And I go a little bit more in depth. I mean, not too much, but but ultimately that's how it's supposed to work. You're supposed to give tithing to your local church and then offering to the place you're being fed at. Um, and, and, and it's okay to pay offering to multiple different churches or to multiple different organizations but the tithing is supposed to go to your home church. So hope that helps you guys out. If you have any questions, just comment below. Have a great day.